my channel, it's Rachel T. Tyler and I'm doing another makeup look today. I received in the mail the KKW Classic Blossom Collection. Thought it would be fitting to try and do something cherry blossom inspired. It comes with an eyeshadow kit, some lippies and then, oh, that's a lip that. And then three blushes and then it also comes with these lip liners. I just want to say sorry in advance if it is very noisy throughout this video. There's a lot of construction going on around my apartment, so in the front we have like drilling in the streets. In the back someone's sawing something with the electrical circular saw and it's noise coming in from everywhere. So I'm wearing a little mic, it is irritating the sh out of me, but we're gonna go on with it, we're gonna do it anyway. So let's prime the face, I'm using the MAC Prep and Prime, this is just the Fix Plus spray. And then for foundation, I'm using the Dior Backstage in 3W mixed with the Too Chiclat Glow Shot. So just a drop of each on the back of my hand and then I'm gonna mix them together. And then just buffing and stippling with my buffing brush. And then Bobbi Brown's Instant Full Cover Concealer in the shade Warm Honey, just on the under eye circles. Gonna let that dry down a little bit and set the rest of the face with the Peach Blur by Too Faced, just this translucent powder. And then I'm not contouring today, so I'm just gonna warm up my face with the Becca Be A Light Face Palette. This is a medium to deep face palette. And I'm just gonna swirl my brush literally through all of these and skip that lighter one. I'm gonna make sure to check in the mirror that I don't leave brush hairs all over my face like one of my other videos. You guys were saying you were having anxiety that I had little brush hairs all over my face, but it's because I'm using the viewfinder to do my makeup in these tutorials. I just thought it's a bit more one-on-one. -on -one. So I can't really see all the like little details like that. So I'm just gonna have to keep checking the mirror so I don't freak you guys out again. <laughs> All right, I just want to leave this concealer to dry down a little bit longer. Um, the reason I do it is because I don't set my concealer with powder. The powder always ends up gathering and creasing in my under eye creases. I just have really strong creases, so I avoid powder in that area. So let's just use the Precisely My Brow, and this is in the shade 6. I, <laughs> I trimmed my brows recently, trimmed and tweezed, and I hate them. I absolutely hate them. I don't know what I've done, so rest in peace, my caterpillars. Let's just do this. Oh my god, they're so neat. I hate them. Okay, let's give them some more texture with the Gimme Brow. This is in the shade 5. Alright, and then I'm going to blend the concealer out with my Beauty Blender. Alright, I'm going to go in with blush now instead of eyeshadow because I feel like it might inspire the rest of the look and you guys know how much I love blush, so let's start with that. These are the three colours by KKW, so this one is Destiny, it's more of a peachy blush. This one is Grace, it is more pinky, kind of dusty pink toned. And then this one is Karma and it is a more purple coloured blush. I think I'm going to go with Destiny and also Karma, layer those up and see how I'm feeling with them on the face and we'll go from there. Just with a small brush I'm going to place Destiny all over the cheek. So I'm taking Karma now and I'm just going to go straight over the top just in this center area here. Just pop down some concealer on my lids just so that the, just so that the eyeshadows have a base to grab to. This is Hello Fab Bendy Avocado Concealer. Don't really know where I got this from and it is in the shade 4. Okay, so here is a KKW Cherry Blossom eyeshadow palette. So pretty. So I'm gonna start with this color. I don't know if it's gonna translate on my skin tone, but we'll see. Just all over the lid. Just buffing up, up over the crease as well so it can work as our transition shade. 
Right, it's given me a nice pale wash of pink, but I want to deepen that pink up a little bit. So I'm going to go in with the same shade and also dip into this one, mix the two together, and then from the outer corner and buffing into the crease. All right, you can see that really helped to amp up that pink color. So I'm just going to use the same combo on the lower lash line. And then with a flat shader brush, I'm going to go into these two colors. And then I'm just going to create a really soft wing on the outer portion of the eye. With the excess, just running that along the outer portion of the lower lash line. Just going back and creating a tiny wing on the lower lash line just with that same color. All right, let's dip into some shimmer. I'm gonna try this little shade here and then just all over the lid. And then just buffing the edges out with a clean brush. Okay, my camera kind of died just then because it overheated, but I just went in with this shade at the end with this guy and just buffed it in a little bit there. So that's all I've done. I'm going to move on to highlighter now, and then I think I might change up the blush a little bit now that it's more pinky purpley. For highlight, I'm using Natasha Denona's Blush and Glow. I'm just using the highlight shade, this one here. Just knocking off some of the blush color that we put down earlier with my Beauty Blender. And since I want to create a similar look, I'm actually going to use this eyeshadow and dip into that. And then also dip into the plum shade. And then see how we go with that. Okay, definitely a better match the eyes now, so let's do the other cheek. And across my nose and my chin okay that is much better so if you're a similar skin tone to me none of these really read true pink on my skin they kind of just ended up blending in with my skin tone and looking a little bit more tan or peach so I'm happy with this little combo okay so I'm just gonna go over a couple of my beauty spots and freckles with my precisely my brow pencil in number six And then Benefits Bad Girl Bang for Mascara. Okay, time for lipstick. Funnily enough, these are all called pink. So pink one, two, three, four, all the way up to pink eight. I'm sure you'll see swatches all over YouTube, but they're, I guess, different shades of pink. I wouldn't necessarily call them all pink, but here we are. I'm gonna try, oh, be right back. Ugh, okay, I'm gonna try pink number five. So that's what it looks like. Let's try it. I'm gonna pop it in the center of the lip. Okay, on my lips, it is definitely pinky toned. It's still a cool pink, a little bit more on the purple side. But I do want to add a little bit of a darker shade just for dimension. So this is pink seven. And I mean, this is purple, right? Lipstick form, it looks purple. It's actually reading more magenta, so let's try it. Okay, I really like that lippy combo. It's still definitely edging toward a cooler pink, so kind of more of a purpley lavender tone, but it ties in with the eyes, so I'm happy. And on that note, this is it. This is the final look. What do you all think? I'm going to go insert some very extra outro shots for you now. And on that note, I hope you really enjoyed this tutorial. If you did and you haven't subscribed yet, please do come hang around. I'd love to expand my little YouTube family. It's growing more and more every single day and it's making me so happy that you guys are enjoying the content. So thank you for all your support. And I guess until next time, I'll see you guys on Instagram. Mwah.